I want to take a few minutes to talk about Amanda Brimes. Been seeing her a lot in the news. And uh, the first time I ever saw her was from that show, um, All That. My stepdaughter used to come down here and I would let her have control of the TV. And we watched, like, That's All Raven and Lifetime. And All That was another one. And, uh, you know, the show, I, it was um, entertaining. wasn't funny. It's supposed to be a comical, you know, but I never laughed. Neither did my daughter, but, you know, we enjoyed the show. And I thought Amanda was uh, a pretty good actress. Little did I know, years down the road, she would end up, you know, becoming unstable. You know, it's obvious that there's something wrong with her. And I feel sorry for her. I mean, just recently, she just gotten out of the uh, little hospital that she was locked in there um, from her parents. Her parents got well, not custody of her or whatever. They have control over her money and everything. And I, I feel sorry for her. I do believe that her parents should be able to have control over life because somebody has to. You know what I mean? If you're, I would want somebody to do that for me. If I was acting this way, if I was definitely mentally something was wrong with me, then I want my kids or somebody to make decisions for me. I have seen so many things now in the news I mean like she humped her bodyguard in a store in front of everybody down below will be a few links to some of the articles but I truly hope that she finds help I thought something was up when she announced that she was quitting she wasn't gonna be an actress anymore I thought that was unusual because I'd never seen anybody do that they usually just quit they don't say nothing they just quit and maybe if they're interviewed you know years down the road and they say you know I decided to stop but she actually made the announcement then she changed her mind then she made the announcement again and I think that it was at this time that she knew something was wrong with her and she just couldn't do it you know if you're mentally unstable how are you going to be able to remember your lines how are you going to be able to pull it off doing whatever scene you're supposed to be doing and um, you know, she got arrested for the DUI, threw a bong out of a window of her apartment, all these things. And I'm going like, wow, this is just unreal, you know. Uh, but, you know, there's other people like that, too, like uh, uh, Joni from um, from uh, Happy Days, Erin Morgan, um, Morin. She became homeless. And, you know, she was in the news left and right not too long ago. And, you know, it's, it's shocking. Someone like that, you would think, would have lots of money and stuff. But, you know, they make wrong decisions and spend their money unwisely. A lot of these movie stars do that. And she became homeless. And so here we got Amanda Brimes, you know, talking to people that's not there. She was supposed to be at court and missed it. Sent a lawyer in there to uh, represent her to try to get, you know, control over everything herself. And... It was thrown out because he can't even represent her because she had already lost that because her parents don't have control of everything. So anyway, you know, I felt for her when she got tricked and then they put her in the hospital because, you know, I was in a hospital when I was a kid. I was in a mental institute for uh, four years of my life. So I understand exactly what she's going through. Um, I needed to be in there, but I don't think I need to be in there as long as I was. Luckily, she wasn't in there very long, like, what, two weeks? But as soon as she gets out, she goes back to Twitter and starts talking about all these things. I'll put the link to her Twitter, you know, saying that her dad sexually raped her or molested her, you know, and that there's a chip in her head. That right there, when she starts saying things like that, you know that there's something mentally wrong with her. I hope that she can find help, and I hope I wish her nothing but the best. I've seen lots of people putting her down, a lot of people making fun of her. I don't see very many videos of anybody saying, you know, I really hope that everything works out okay and that she finds the help that she needs because definitely she needs that. I think she needs medication just like me. I got my Depakote. So, um, yeah, it's just you never know when you watch somebody what's going to happen in the future with that person. You don't know if they're going to you know kill themselves some do uh, like Robin Williams it, it just I don't know it's just it's shocking it is it's shocking but it's also very sad I wish her nothing but the best and I hope 
that she can find the help that she needs and become stable and have a good healthy life. Let me know your opinions about Amanda Brimes and uh, you know the stuff that you've seen in the news if you've even watched the stuff in the news but uh, let me know your opinions because uh, you know I, I appreciate all the comments and the interaction with you guys. Okay thank you for your time you guys have a good one and God bless.